In this video, we're going to look at how to solve a system of equations using the substitution method. Here we've been given a system of equations. Um, we have two linear equations, y equals 5x plus 2 and y equals 3x plus 20. If we were to graph these two, um, they would both be straight lines and they would cross at some point. So the goal when you're solving a system is to figure out where the lines would cross where the point is that works for both equations. We're going to solve this system by using the substitution method. If this second equation just said y equals 3, we could take that 3 and just plug it in over here for the y value. But it doesn't say 3. It says y equals 3x plus 20. So what we're going to do instead is take the entire expression, this, y, this 3x plus 20, and we're going to plug that in for y over here. So with, with substitution, you're taking something out. We're going to take this y out, and you're going to replace it. You're going to substitute in an expression that means the same thing. So we know that y is the same thing as 3x plus 20. So we can replace this y with a 3x plus 20. This gives us the equation 3x plus 20 equals 5x plus 2. The equation that we have now only has one variable, an x. This means we can solve it for x. When you have an equation with variables on both sides, it's a good idea to try to get all of your variables on the same side first. So we can do that by subtracting 3x from both sides. These x's here are going to cancel. So we'll just have a 20 on the left side. And then we'll have 2x plus 2 on the right side. I can undo adding 2 by subtracting 2 from both sides. This gives me 18 equals 2x. I can undo multiplying by 2 by dividing by 2 on both sides, which means that x equals 9. Now, a common mistake is for students to stop here and to just say that the answer is 9. But you have to remember that the solution is always going to be an ordered pair. So it's a point on the coordinate plane. So we just found the x coordinate of that point. So I know the point is going to be 9 something, and I'm not sure yet what the y value will be. So the next step is to figure out what y is. Once you have one of the variables, you're going to go back to the original system. I have two equations here, and I can plug in a 9 for x into either one to solve the y. It doesn't matter which one you choose, just pick the one that looks the easiest to you. So I'll pick this first one here. So I know that y equals 5x plus 2, and I just found out that x is 9. So I'm going to take out the x and plug in a 9. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 plus 2 is 47. So this tells me that the y value is 47. I know that the solution must be the ordered pair 947. Now the good thing about solving a system using the substitution method is that you can always check your answer. So what you do is you go back to the original system. I just use this first equation to solve for y. So when you check it, you want to use the second equation, the one that you didn't use yet. So I'm going to check it in the second equation here. So I'm going to plug in 47 for the y value. And I know that's supposed to equal 3 times the x value plus 20. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 plus 20 is 47. So if you plug in your x and y values and the left hand side and the right hand side come out to the same number, that means you solved it correctly. So that means that our answer is the ordered pair 9, 47.